my dad's dyslexic and my mom's very dyslexic as well. And together I'm, the, I'm a purebred dyslexic as they call me. Since I was very young, I've, de I've always been very good at talking. We call it the silver tongue in our house. And then also I've just come up with many, many different businesses. And that's been happening from a very, very young age. I directly correlate that with my dyslexia. Yeah, there's only one, so much one man can do. How, how about a hundred man? Think about that. The, the first business that I really started selling is something called Bodie's Love Notes, just to spread some kindness. And the response I got was very, 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 very good. Within that, the first year, I sold over a thousand dollars worth of cards. When you buy Bodie's Love Notes, you're buying a room full of smiles. And then I've got two new things that are coming up. One, I don't know if I can speak about, because we hope to bring this to a large level and we do not have any sort of protection around it, but um, I can tell you that it's a board game to help with family disagreements. The second thing is uh, I'm starting this thing called Bodie's Boot Camp, BBC, helping kids keep in shape during this time. So those are all the businesses that I have, but it does not mean that I won't have more. <laughs> I've always talked about my dyslexia in great pride and in great frequency. I talk about it and I think it's really helpful and I think if other people start talking about it, it just it just creates a new normal, making neurodiversity a normal, which it is. There's so much to know. If every, every dyslexic was wearing a shirt like this, shameless little plug, noticeability, check them out, cool stuff, um, cool merch. If every dyslexic was wearing this shirt, I think people would, they'd look up and they'd see, you know, um, the the sharks of Shark Tank. Like three out of the five of them are dyslexic. 40% of self-made millionaires are dyslexic. Just being able to see that and be like, wow, I wish I was dyslexic. Don't mean to make them jealous. The disadvantages are there, but I think advantages are a very important thing to see. My dyslexia really focuses in on spelling and writing, like writing with your hand. That, that's really difficult for me, or reading for a long time. I don't have a very hard time writing. In fact, I, I pride myself on being a poet. In poems, I think I can really express my discontentment, especially when it comes to things like school. So this is my poem. School can be hard when the words are askew and everyone else is faster than you and all the different readings, long and short, fall, fly away faster than a lacrosse ball, which is my favorite sport. And when everyone else to, gets to go outside and play, I'm denied that. I can't go no way. I must, must go and sit in the classroom to do more work when all I wish I could do is go in woodwork. As I move from class to class, I'm reminded how I have to go super fast. And when my favorite class rolls around, I already feel beaten to the ground. While the words go in one ear and out the other, I know that I'm about to go to another class, another. Though people say they know what it's like, it makes me angry when they're wrong and it makes me fill with dislike. As the day comes to an and all I can think about is the fact that I am going to come back and do it again. But first, I know I am not yet done. There's no time to relax in the sun. For the homework I have is immense, and it takes me hours before I can say I'm done. And while I want to scream and shout, I'm not able to get the anger out. It makes me feel like a dragon who lit his tongue on fire. From school, I greatly tire. And somehow I hope it will all go away, with a swish and a boom and a big little blam away. But yet I... But yet it stays constant as I work harder and harder. And it's so hard to learn about something you're not interested in, interested in such as silent barter. In the rink or on the lacrosse field is where I truly thrive. But in school, I have a hard time even feeling, feeling like I have a chance to be alive. Even though I'm a lacrosse goalie and come back with many bruises, it feels better than being a student. And when I smell the paper and hear it rustle, I have an inner tussle. Do I stay? where I know I'm not wanted or do I go away? And next year I finally get to choose the second and I won't come back 
to school only on the off chance to check in. I'm excited for my future opportunities that will replace school. It will be super cool. And though the current situation has made a dent in our plan, I will definitely not go back to school. No way am I, man. As this poem comes to an end and I need to fill up space, I will just say that I think school is a dyslexic disgrace. And while I try to write this poem to perfection, all I can think is where I'm going to put the annoying alliteration. Now this poem, wait, sorry. Now this poem is done. It's exactly 52 lines long. Though this poem has said some things that could seem pretty strong, they are how I feel so they can't be wrong.